Tennessee Today, WGN Investigates received the email sent by Lightfoot's campaign staff requesting student involvement. And investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte has been looking through those emails and joining us now with more what's in them. All right, well, this all started two weeks ago, you may remember, when it was revealed that Lightfoot's campaign emailed some Chicago public school teachers to try to recruit student volunteers for her election campaign. We are now learning more than 70 CPS teachers were asked about recruiting students. The emails show that at least one of them pushed back. The fact that we use publicly available email addresses for um, CPS teachers and for City College um, professors was a mistake, period, full stop. We will cooperate with any investigation that's out there. This was Mayor Lightfoot days after the CPS recruitment story came to light, a story her staff initially defended, calling it common practice. And this is the kind of outreach that never should have happened. Today we're learning exactly how the recruitment effort started. 80 plus pages of emails show the mayor's deputy campaign manager, Megan Crane, reaching out to more than 70 teachers. In her four paragraph email, complete with a link for students to apply, she writes, as the race heats up, we're looking to enrich our office through what we call our externship program. Could you please share this opportunity with your students? Obviously, there are a lot of ethical issues that go along with it and concerns, and that's why there's an investigation going on. I think it's also important to note that while the mayor first kind of justified this effort as something all campaigns do, or many campaigns in big cities do, as time went on, she not only agreed not to do it, and admitted it was wrong, but ultimately blamed a staffer. The request didn't get much response. One teacher asked if the mayor could come and speak with students at Walter Payton College Prep. Another pushed back, saying, I find your candidates' values to be contrary to those that I attempt to inculcate in my classroom. Higher-ups at CPS, meanwhile, eventually found out about the outreach, and at that point, they stepped in. The senior advisor to CPS CEO Pedro Martinez emailed Crane, writing, Thanks for chatting before. Just to reiterate our phone conversation, no recruitment for interns or volunteers can be done on campus or by staff or teachers. We also cannot provide any classroom credit. Any questions can be directed to me or the ethics advisor. As I said, in this instance, the staffer made a mistake. Um, it was well-intentioned, but she now recognizes that the CPS outreach, even though through publicly available sources, uh, was not the right thing to do. The mayor has called the emails a mistake. It's too soon to tell how voters will react. The election still more than a month away. Unless something comes out of the investigation and there are some kinds of enhancement of focus on it, I really just don't think voters are going to give all that much weight to it when it comes to voting because they're less concerned about the personality and the persona involved as they are the environment in which they live economically and safety wise. And Chicago's Office of the Inspector General and the CPS Inspector General have both opened investigations into the recruitment efforts, though it's not clear when those investigations will be done. A big question for people is will that investigation be done before the election, mm -hmm. which is coming up in, what, a month or so. Yeah. So we'll hard, see. Hard to imagine. Thanks, mm -hmm. Lourdes. Cloudy and blustery conditions today as another